So, geez, I don't know what here to be doing. I don't know what we can do. Ouch. I should probably paint those guys, but Jesus, that's boring to watch somebody paint as far as I'm concerned. I mean, plus there's, I mean, lots of good painters out there. So, I mean, everybody has a different style. So, I mean, you can learn tricks from people, which is kind of like what I show was more tips and tricks rather than how it, you know, this is the first one that I ever did a kind of like a, a, you know, full scale all the way, you know, from beginning to end type thing. It's, I just put that wash on it so it doesn't have the, the dry brushing on it yet. Hey. Windows came out really good, you know, for cheap plastic. Just in case you missed it, that's this stuff. Cheap, cheap, cheap dollar store, pound shop. These ones were two, two fifty for these big ones. That it's by Deco Art, and it's called Liquid Rainbow. It's a paint and peel stick-on transparent paint. It's for those wi window clinks, eh? You paint it on the plastic or glass or something, and then you peel it off and stick it on your window. So these ones here, I I put on piece of garbage plastic from some packaging I just didn't want that and rather than peeling them off I left them stuck on which it gives them a little bit more support eh? they're not so warped plus it gives you the option you can always peel them off later I guess I don't know anyways that's what I did with these ones I left it stuck on like I said the they know not bad. Now, when I went to put them on, I don't know if you can tell. It's kind of hard to tell in the camera there. But I painted them on this side, so this side is thick. You know, and it's actually, it actually looks like leading on there. I was going to put those on the outside. But then I thought, this on it, you know. If the guy's battling, he's got his men hidden behind this this side, you know. They're inside. <laughs> So you want to look, you know, I mean, that's the side you're going to be looking at. You might as well look at the good one, right? Let your opponent look at that one. should finish painting this, actually. That's what we should do. So I've just put a, a wash on. I don't know what I'm going to do with this bit down there. Like I said, I'd like to use some of this glow-in-the-dark stuff. As to what color you wanted to use. I think we'll use something weird like an orange. Yellowy orange. What color is this? Squash blossom. It's kind of funky bright orange. I'm sure it could stand out. Yeah, we'll do it. What the hell? I use a piece of old. Uh, I'll show you. Where are we? Let me see. Yeah. File folder. Being an old office geek, I have about ten thousand file folders. <laughs> they work good for all kinds of stuff, eh? Thin cardboard. You know, you can build up stuff. Some pink brushes out there. friends that do all kinds of different things. It's weird, man. What a weird friggin' holiday. 
I guess it all depends on how close you are to your family or what, you know, history. I'm not too sure. I think it'll look pretty good. Anyways, I say that lots, don't I? I don't think that'll look really good. But I do. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. It's a friggin' holiday. For a lot of people it's not even a holiday. I can remember as a working as I should talk louder. I'll put you parenting a fair amount, eh? Like, when was my son, he was about a year and a half old when I started sin the single parent trip. And then I met my common law wife that I'm with here. Uh, when the heck did we... A long time ago. I made, I made her date me about three years before we shacked up together, eh? And we've been living here since, well, 10, ten years? Yeah, 10 years, a little over 10 years. And so I guess we've been together about 13 years. And he was in grade eight or seven when he moved here. Grade eight, he moved here in grade eight him. Yeah. So whatever that works out to, who knows. I've been partaking already this morning. Wee hours. That's why I'm sitting here doing this. Too damn cold out, man. It's about 35 below outside right now. Holy jeez. It's really cold. aren't supposed to know anything. I've told you too much. That looks nice. That's a nice color, actually, for a cheap paint. I like these dollar store paints, you know? I don't care what anybody says, man. They're goddamn good paints. For a buck? Holy jeez, you get a big chunk of it. I mean, you can always mix it with stuff to thin it out or do different things with it, but if you're just experimenting or making weird things like I do, it's great paint. I mean, I'm, I'm an all for support your hobby industry type, you know, company, friends, gamer company, otherwise it, you know, won't be there, but... Man, I have a hard time paying like four ninety five for a paint for when you can get twice as much for a buck. Oh, the pigments aren't the same, yeah. So I mean like doing my miniatures and stuff for sure. Much better paint for doing your miniatures. But oh god, it's freaking expensive. Nice stuff about this though is that you know you can put out just one drop, eh? one or two drops and you don't waste it so much. Yeah. It is nice paint. Nice fine pigments in it. I mean this stuff is kind of tough for painting your miniatures and that, but I mean uh, this guy was painted with dollar store paint. Yeah, I can, you know that's that's all just dollar store paint. Looks really good actually, I think. Got dang rights. Should finish painting these guys. Anyways, they do have some nice colors for cheap paints. <laughs>